Um, online school took a hit on all students. How were you prepared to make sure that they bounce back? The first thing is to get them in. Get you back into school. Get you back into school so that you can go back to socialization. Take the pressure and get it. Unfortunately for you guys, you haven't got that facility, you haven't got that luxury. But take the, the pressure off the academics and get you back into the swing of things, get you back into, getting you wanting to come into school. I stand out there on a, at nine o'clock on a, on a morning and I see the line of traffic, cars being dropped, and kids being dropped off here and I'm thinking, you know, two years ago we didn't have that. Because people now have got used to getting up when they feel like it, studying when they feel like it. If they're anything like me, when I'm left on to my own devices, I go to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, I get up at 11 o'clock in the evening in the morning. That's just the way my natural body clock works. Other people do the same thing. We've got to get you back into habits, we've got to get students back into that. We've got to get them wanting to come to school, we've got to make them enjoy it, we've got to make them understand the difference between online and being in school, making the lessons more interesting, making the lessons more exciting, making students actually do more. It's not good enough anymore. This is the change in, in delivery methods. It's not good enough anymore for an adult to stand in front of a class and talk to a bunch of students for 45 minutes and then walk away and think they've taught them something. They haven't. Uh, they, the students have to do things, it has to be broken up. We need to make it fun, we need to make it enjoyable, we need to make sure that your timing, when you get up in the morning, you want to be here. When you go home on a Thursday afternoon, you're looking forward to Sunday morning. Now that, making school about academics is not doing that. Making school about being interesting. So you almost, you start to learn by default. It's like taking exams. You don't. You shouldn't need to prepare for an exam overly. You should be able to, to take an exam by default because you've already done the learning. In the same way, you should be learning by default. You're doing activities. You're learning without realizing. It. Now you th you think about it. When you do either of you two drive, no. you're learning. It's incredibly complicated, isn't it? Yeah. It's really difficult. Yet within five years, I can lay off that you will be able to drive down the road, text on your phone, talk to your wife or your, your, your family, drink a cup of coffee and do everything else because it all becomes automatic. Because you do it so many times. It ch and that's basically what we're trying to do with education. Is get the recall of information to become automatic. So in exactly the same way as when you're, when you're driving a car, you know that when you put your right foot down, you put your, you put your left foot up and you put your left foot down and put your right foot up, you're probably going to use a clutch, do you? Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> so, you, know, you know that if you want to slow the car down, you, you do that, and if you want to speed the car up, you do that. Now, at the moment, you're still thinking about that, aren't you? Yeah. And when you want to stop, you're actually thinking, I need to do that. Give it a few months, that will become automatic. That's what we're trying to do in education as well, so that it becomes automatic. So that you're learning without realising, I guess, is, is where I'm trying to get to from that.